Well, hey there, Gemini. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Gemini. I'm just going to trust whenever this reading comes across your screen, that's when you're meant to see it. You have been on my mind, Gemini. I don't know why. It seems like I can't get the message right or they want me to do it again. And so here I am again, Gemini. Let's see. Let's see why. I don't know why. Let's get some messages. Spirit, can we get some messages for the sign of Gemini? Gemini, if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Let's see. Confidence is your key to success. The new moon in Leo. Okay, time to have some confidence. Time to uh, believe in yourself here, Gemini. And the answers you need are coming the full moon in Gemini. Look at that. Beautiful communication coming in and some answers. Love that. Let's see what kind of animal spirit a guide is up in the ether for the sign of Gemini. Spirit, can you tell me about Gemini? What's going on with Gemini? What's going on? The turtle came in the challenge position, so it feels like things are slow moving, uh, not moving forward. You can't get that water you need. You can't get that drink you need. Um, something feeling very sludgy, very slow. And the deer feeling very nervous, kind of jittery about this. And the lion, there's that confidence coming into play. Look at this beautiful Leo energy. We've got the new moon in Leo and the lion coming through. So it has to do with your confidence, really, really believing in yourself. And the black egg, huh? Some kind of information revealed by you. Something coming out. All right, Zen Tarot card, Zen Tarot card for up in the ether, up in the ether. What's up in the ether for the sign of Gemini? Intensity. This came out in one of the last couple readings I've done for you. Things feel very, very intense, like you're moving out of something. You're moving away from something. Hmm. It, it looks like you're moving into the light. You're moving into the sun here. So but why does it feel so intense? Yeah, there's that sun. Look at this with the source. You know, the sun is Leo energy. Maybe you have Leo in your chart or you're dealing with the Leo. But this is intense. This is really, really intense. It feels like from slow motion, from this sludge to this rocket, to this boom, to this out. So uh, a big, big release. It's just like something's been holding you back, holding you back, hanging on to your ankles here. And then they let go and you've gained so much momentum. There's this propel, propelling happening here. <laughs> like the rubber band, you've been held back, you've been put under pressure, you've been uh, almost broken. It was like that rat, that rubber band got dry and cracked and brittle. That was your energy. It just got so uh, fragile and then bam, release. It just, whew, you're gone. <laughs> wow, where are you going, Gemini? All right, let's see what's on your mind. What are you thinking about right now? What are you thinking about right now? What is on your mind? Queen of Swords, that's beautiful energy coming through in the mind space. Wow, look at that. Looky, looky, there's the sun. Again, this Leo energy, this Leo energy. Queen of Swords is Gemini energy, so beautiful. You've got Gemini energy with the, the full moon in Gemini and Gemini energy with the Queen of Swords. Eight of Pentacles, look at this, about the career again, about the workplace, so several times the workplace has come up in my readings here there's some kind of victory some kind of big win just when you start to relax just when you start to breathe it out that's when the victory comes but when you're all up in your head about it when you can't seem to get it out of your mind it seems to cut uh through the the meditation or the um the uh peace peaceful times in your life yeah, what's that all about? What's that all about? Let's see, let's see. Two of Pentacles. Hmm, you're juggling money. So maybe there's a fear of a job loss here or you have lost your job or you have lost a source of income or you've retired and now you're not making what you used to make here and you're trying to really figure this out. Well, what can I do? Well, what am I skilled at here? What will bring in uh, the money here? Uh, tell me more about that. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, you're leaving something behind and Five of Swords. This has been very, very stressful for you. Really stressful for you. You're up in your head a lot about this. A lot of this you just need to stop thinking about. It's just your focus on it is keeping it into your reality here. It's almost like you're manifesting this uh, very, very difficult decision by focusing on it. So you just can't stop focusing on it. You can't stop thinking about it. Um, tell me what will ease, what will ease Gemini's mind about this? 
you never know what could happen. <laughs> Page of Cups comes flying out in reverse and this card is all kind of discombobulated anyway, right? You never know. You never know. Stop predicting a future that hasn't happened yet. Stop predicting the worst case scenario happening here uh, when today is okay, when you're okay right now, when you are doing just fine. So stop predicting that all is going to fall apart. What is happening to you right now? now that's what you can focus on what is happening right now what is reality what is reality instead of this imagined future that i keep getting caught up in that i don't seem to uh, want to let go of look at this with justice yeah you keep looking into the looking glass you keep trying to see uh, how the future is going to look because you're so fearful it's not going to look right or it's not going to be uh, scarce or it's going to be uh, difficult so that's what you're focusing on. So that is the law of attraction. It feels very intense now. Now I feel scared. Now I have to do something. Now I have to take action because I've triggered myself into this fear mode, into this panic mode. Tell me about the heart space for Gemini. Tell me about the heart space for Gemini. Ooh look at this. Time to relax. Gemini, look at this. The ace of pentacles coming out in the heart space here. Gemini, there it is. There is the savior. There is the victory here when it comes to feeling secure in your heart about money. So big, big victory when it comes to your money here in your heart space. Page of Wands, this is about your passion, your inspiration, and believing in yourself again. You used to believe in yourself. You used to trust that you would work it out. You used to trust that the future was going to work out. If you put in the work today, that was going to pay off tomorrow. You used to trust in that. There were some breaking times. There were some breaking moments where you lost your trust in that. You lost your trust to believe yourself when you said it was going to be okay. <laughs> we all do that, right? We all uh, start to lose trust in ourselves because it wasn't okay, right? It didn't work out. It didn't go the way we wanted. So you got caught up in those fears that this was going to happen again. So uh, you've got to stop worrying about a future that hasn't happened. And you've got to stop worrying about a past that there's nothing you can do about. Absolutely nothing you can do about the past. So you got to let it go. You got to really fall into everything's okay today. Everything is okay right now. And what do I love doing? Get into some hobbies. Get into some things that really light you up, that make you happy, that make you forget about the strife and the struggle here with the five of wands. Um, really fall into some hobbies. Yeah, go to, go camping. <laughs> let the earth take over. Let this uh, morphing begin, this merging begin of peace and serenity and calmness here. It's just time to calm it down and breathe it in breathe it out. It's time to really let go of the possibilities because those possibilities feel very scary to you, very um, uncertain here. So it's just time to let it go. It's time to let go of the looking glass. Just really um, know that you did work things out in the past. You did make things happen here. You did follow your gut. Look at the king of swords coming in to meet the queen of swords in the mind space here. So the heart telling the mind, let's connect here. Let's reconnect here. Let's follow our hearts more instead of just going into all the details and crunching the numbers and trying to figure this out. Let's bring some love into the situation. Let's bring some trust into the situation. Let's bring some resources into the situation. We forgot to count our assets here. We forgot to count our investments here. So you're just really falling into this evenness when it comes to your money for sure with the ace of pentacles and the queen of pentacles in the heart space uh, and that calms down the mind space with the queen of swords and the king of swords here there's this yin and yang happening now this point counterpoint okay but we do have this let's not forget to count our blessings while we're counting our trials here <laughs> while we're counting our losses we've got to count our winnings <laughs> What's in the foundation? What's this all about for Gemini? There it is again. There's that looking glass, the justice card here, the number 11, the master number. Oh, big, big balancing coming out for you, Gemini. This is beautiful. I really always refer to you when this card comes out because of the uh, looking glass here, because of the, um, the twins, because of the twins. That is Gemini, right? You always have the other side of it. You always see the other side of it. You are Gemini. That's what you do is you see the other side of it here. You let yourself go there to see the other side. It's like, why did Gemini go through that experience? It's because you wanted to get to the other side. You wanted to see the other side. It's just almost what you're made of. 
this is a beautiful, beautiful balancing coming to you, Gemini, really easing up on that intensity, on that do or die kind of feeling, that sense of urgency. It's just really calming down. It's just calming down. It goes from yellow light to green light. It's just, you've been on high alert for a very, very long time. And now we're taking down the DEF CON now, right? It's just down to the number one now. It's just relax. What else in the foundation for Gemini? What else for Gemini spirit? That is just my mistake. What else for Gemini in the foundation? Seven of Swords, broken contracts, right underneath the Five of Wands here. So there's been some strife. There's been some lies. There's been some revelations. There's been some secrets that have come out here. There has been some uh, shenanigans pulled. There's been some trickery for sure. There's absolutely been some trickery, but your focus on that, your finding the truth, your finding the answers has absolutely kept you focused on that. You've been focused on that, that investigative mode that I'm going to find the truth, that I'm going to get to the bottom of this. It's kept your focus on this, on this thing that you do not want in your life, this fixation on the thing that you do not want. You're going to find it. You're going to smother it and you're going to kill it out of your life forever. It just keeps you focused on it. You will always find more. The more you are looking for it, the more you will find it. What we seek, we shall find. So it's time to turn your focus away from that. It's time to look away from the shiny object here. <laughs> Beautiful. What else in the foundation? What else in the foundation? The hanged man. Look at this. Oh my God. And the devil. Wow. 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 The three of cups, the queen of wands. Look at all this royalty uh, in your reading here, Gemini. You've got the queen of swords, the queen of pentacles and the queen of wands. I love the queen of wands. She's so sassy. She's just uh, uh, very, very much um, knowing, knowing of her power and her magic here. Queen of swords has to plan everything out, has to be the, the prep the prepper has to have it all worked out and in its uh, in its place before uh, she can move on here. And the Queen of Pentacles is just enjoying life. She's got everything she needs. <laughs> I love that. But look at this. Look at this devil energy, this addiction to finding the problem. You've been a problem seeker. You've been trying to find the solutions, but it's kept you so focused on the problems that that has become an addiction to you. You just have to release that addiction to find the problem so you can uh, uh, strangle it to the ground here. Just get rid of it once and for all. It will never happen. There will always be dark. There cannot be light without the dark and there cannot be dark without the light here. It's just the other side of it. You know all about that because you see the other side of everything. So it's time to stop looking for the problems here, Gemini, because you are our brilliant, brilliant mediator. You know how to solve these things. You know how to fix these things, but it's time to take a break. It's time to take a break. The universe is saying, this is not your hill to die on. This is not your problem to solve. Uh, this problem has existed forever. This problem will always exist. It's for, it serves its purpose for people like you who step into it, who see the problem. You will naturally and organically find the solution as you continue on in your own momentum. Now pull it back. Uh, you've gone too broad, too general now. Now it's time to pull it back into your own bubble now, your own space now, and detox. you got to detox from the uh, toxicity of society. <laughs> this place that we have all found ourselves on the precipice of here, on the uh, leading edge of here. And it's this intensity, this extreme intensity. Yeah. Beautiful. Hanged man, three of cups, this beautiful celebration. You got seven sisters in the sky. I love this card of unity of, uh, girl power kind of feeling here it has nothing to do with gender. It's just an energy, this feeling of having each other's backs, this feeling of, uh, uh, never give up, never surrender on each other here. We've, we've got to find ways to bridge the gaps and not make the, the crevice deeper by trying to go to the root of it. We just keep burrowing down to try to find the root of it. And it just makes us like the Grand Canyon, right? It just keeps getting wider and wider and wider. We keep finding more and more and more and more problems. And uh, uh, Spirit is saying it's time to turn your back to that crevasse. It will always be there. It will grow deeper and deeper. But um, whatever you focus on is going to bloom and blossom and grow here. And let's focus on the sun and the light and the beauty and the beauty of 
Mother Earth Gaia and what she provides to us. Oh God, I love this. I love this. I love this moment in the sun for you, this realization of, yeah, I got to let it go. I got to, I got to cut those ties to the toxicity. Six of wands. Look at this victory. You're getting your moment here. You're getting your moment to shine here without having to worry about fixing the problem here. You get a break, you get a break, you get a time out here and it's beautiful. It's a vacation, <laughs> a vacation from your problems, Gemini. Yes. Yes. That's what the doctor ordered a vacation from your problems. Let's see. Let's get a little bit of clarity on this. The workplace has popped up a couple of times for you. So tell me more about the workplace for Gemini. Tell me more about the workplace. What's going on at the workplace for Gemini? What's going on at the workplace for Gemini? Five of swords came out in reverse. And the Page of Pentacles, hmm, some kind of offering after a competition or a fight or a battle here. There's been some kind of battle at the workplace, but the end result of it is you get risen up. You get an offer, you get a raise, you get a promotion, you get a step up in your finances here after a battle, a little bit of a battle. You had to fight for it. You had to fight for what you deserve. It's exactly what you're doing right now is fighting for what you deserve. And the emperor, look at this, look at this. You're just ramming your way through. It's just like Aries energy pouring into your mind space now. This power, this extreme, extreme power that I am holding uh, my own cards here. I am holding the puzzle piece here and I can finish this. So absolutely beautiful. Really taking control of your finances here taking control of your finances. You're just not complaining about it anymore. You're not whining about it anymore. You're not, woe is me. Uh, the cards were stacked against me using all of these excuses of why you're not more uh, further ahead in your life here, have more money than you have here. You're not using that crutch. You're taking away that crutch. You're taking away those excuses. And you're thinking, why not me? Why not me? I'm going to do this. I have all I have. I uh, There's no one that has access to things that I don't have access to, especially when it comes to spirituality here. So uh, you're just moving forward. It's just like, get out of my way. <laughs> move. <laughs> there's a Saturday Night Live skit that move. He was like the IT person on the computer. <laughs> move. That's what you're doing, Gemini. You're telling everyone move. <laughs> heart space. Any clarification needed in the heart space? Three of Pentacles, you've been building this empire, absolutely building this empire. Look at the Hierophant coming through. Wow, wow, wow. It's rising up, changing of your stars, changing your vibration here. Just real, real. You're grabbing the bull by the horns now. It's just, I see the horns here. I see the horns here. I see Taurus energy here. Um, really beautiful. Really beautiful. Gemini. Gemini. Step aside. Gemini's coming through. And this is beautiful. You're just stepping right up onto that stage. You're taking the mic and you're just like, uh, thank you. Thank you. I accept. <laughs> I accept this award from the universe. <laughs> I want to thank myself. <laughs> page of Wands going on some kind of new adventure now. There's some kind of offer coming in with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. As somebody physically walking up to you and having this... Um, idea, or this promotion or this uh, elevation up, uh, just some kind of offer coming through. Tell me about this addiction, this uh, devil energy in the, in the foundation. Page of Cups, another page. Look at this page of wands, page of pentacles, page of cups. Devil's got something to offer. There's an offer here on the table. Think about this offer, Gemini. Is, is it going to be the easy route or are you um, going to keep fighting this? Are you going to keep fighting this? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see about this offer illumination look at this the light wins the light always wins but uh, when we're looking at timing we're looking at right now this defeat uh, is happening with the devil energy right now yeah devil be gone devil be gone i see the light gemini says and uh that's what i'm following i'm getting out of this intensity out of this uh do or die gotta do it now it's now or never it's just it's just such a defeatism of whatever that word is. It's just you're setting yourself up for failure because you're putting this invisible time clock on yourself. It's time to smash that time clock. It means nothing. And um, go go out and get it. Go grab it. Go grab it. <laughs> go get what take what you want. You want that, you take that. <laughs> oh, is that the three amigos? 
You take the life, Gemini. <laughs> this is beautiful. You are about to grab life by the horns and you are about to celebrate this victory over the devil energy, over the addictions, over the toxicity here. This is a massive cleanse and, uh, and the sun is the one doing the cleansing here. The light is the one doing the cleansing here. So step onto the stage, Gemini. Uh, it's your turn. It's your turn. All right. And judgment on the bottom of the deck. You've got justice and you've got judgment here. So, wow. Very, very balanced uh, energy coming through for you. Beautiful. Yeah. Libra energy. All right. All right, Gemini, I'm going to leave it here. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you, Gemini. I will definitely tune in with you soon.